In this quick video tutorial, I will talk about embedding metadata such as keywords and title into your stock photo content for submission to stock photography agencies. If you do not embed data into your GPEGs images before submitting them, you will have to manually copy-paste titles and keywords for every stock photo agency. This takes a lot of time. The easiest to understand method to embed metadata manually is to use Adobe Bridge. Yes, Adobe Bridge, not Adobe Lightroom. I would not recommend Lightroom because it does not preserve the order of keywords. Instead, Adobe Lightroom reorders keywords in alphabetical order. In my previous video on how to properly keyword and title your stock photos and videos, I explained the importance of putting your most relevant keywords first. This is because the order matters for certain stock agencies, such as Adobe Stock. If the most important keywords do not come first, the rankings for your images in search results will suffer and you will like get smaller sales. To embed metadata into your images using Adobe Bridge, right-click on your image and choose File Info from the menu. Here the most important fields are document title, description and keywords. Keywords must be separated by either comma or semicolon. Input this information into each field one by one like so. After you finished, hit OK and you are done. Also, in Adobe Bridge, you can create templates, which are presets containing certain data that can be applied to a batch of files. First, take one stock photo and input data in the file info that you want to apply to other images. For instance, I will have my image copyrighted with a notice like so. Also, suppose I have many images in my library that are related to food. I input several keywords into this preset template that I can later embed into other images. Then I go to this drop-down menu for templates, hit export and name this preset as food. So the next time I see food-related images, I can select them and then click on import from the drop-down menu. The first option lets you clear all data from the selected files and copy-paste data from the preset. The second option lets you keep data in the original files fields that is not present in the template. All other data will be replaced with that from the preset. The third option will attempt to append and preserve data from both the original file and the preset. I would say that you will mostly use the second option. Once you complete the process of importing, your data from your preset will be applied to the selected images. Check if this is so. Another way to apply preset is through the Tools menu, using Append Metadata or Replace Metadata commands. This will produce similar results as before. The advantage of embedding comes into play when you upload images to stock photo websites. As you can see here, Shutterstock grabbed the keywords and title from the image metadata and you don't have to copy-paste anything. All you need to do is to indicate categories and maybe some other agency-specific data. The same is applicable to Getty Images and Adobe Stock. Most importantly, the order of keywords is preserved if you use Adobe Bridge. As you can see, for this file I uploaded on Adobe Stock. In my next video, I will go over a more advanced method of embedding metadata into your stock photos using EXIF tool. This method makes it possible to automate a lot of tasks if you know how to use programming languages, such as Python. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We will have more tutorials that will help you improve your workflow and succeed in your stock photography business.